Craving adventure? <laughs> you picked the right video. This is the Munda Bidi, a bike trail whose name is adopted from the local indigenous language, meaning path through the forest. Your guide along this journey is Jake, saddling up on a $100 second-hand mountain bike. We'll follow Jake over a month and a distance exceeding 1,000 kilometers. Along the way, you'll learn snippets of the indigenous language and culture, experience local wildlife, and cruise through the ancient forests all the way to the pristine beaches. So saddle up, strap on your helmet, and join Jake on the ride of a lifetime. Good morning. This hut has been fantastic. It wasn't too cold. It's a really well built hut. Everything's stainless steel. It's even got a, like a secondary shelter bit here. Maybe sometimes the rain comes in from that direction. I'm not sure. So, yeah, gonna get this place a bit of a sweep out. And the chain is oiled, the bike is ready. Gonna be a bit of a longer ride today. Uh, because the next hut is only 40 k's, I'm not sure if it's a difficult 40 k's or not, but it's early in the morning, uh, it's not even 9 yet, so, uh, and I don't really like to stop riding until the sun sort of starts going down, so we'll see where we get to. across the devil. Franklin River, the eighth largest river in Western Australia. Just after winter, she's flowing at her absolute maximum. Nice to get out of the sun for a bit. 
the trees are protecting me nice. It's a bit warmer today. Um, I hope I get to the hut pretty soon because I've gone through two bottles of water already. Uh, usually I'd, it, would, it would take one, but it has been a bit warm in the sun. And how gorgeous is this area? You've got the fresh new grasses coming up after a burn. Very nice. A spot in the road where you can turn left or right. Left will take you up to the top of Mount Franklin where there's a picnic spot. Going down that way continues on the Mundabidi. Just made it to the Quakralapvila uh, hut, which is back there. There's a walk trail that comes down to a significant, uh, significant Noongar heritage um, area, which is so. Quakralap. Bila. Bila means river. Quakralup, not too sure. Could be place where the quokka is. Uh, but this is a pretty significant looking river. Let's check it out. Wow. That's gorgeous. What a magnificent place to bring your body to. Trees, grasses, Lizards. Oh, he's gone. This is a fantastic spot. Beautiful. Had a um, had a cuppa here, and it's been very nice. I'm just going to continue on. I just don't feel ready to stop yet, and that's a personal choice uh, for everyone going through here. Some people, and even if your body is super elite and you could do 100 k's a day that doesn't mean you're going to find this easy because y y your body chooses the pace and you push yourself um, to make you feel satisfied or you can mosey through some people like to do that awesome Ooh, there's a little snake there getting some sun yeah, so just gonna head back into Warpole. Well, head on into Warpole. Gorgeous. Uh, one thing to note about this campsite at this present time the shit is full. More so now that I've been here. So uh, let's hope they get on to that. Because by the time this footage comes out, oh, she'd be overflowing. This whole place is draped with these gorgeous little white flowers. A couple of flying ants.
Good morning. Must be about 11 a.m. I've run some errands in Warpole. Got to Warpole last night just after that beautiful cleared section with those that savanna of grasses with the sun setting through it and shining upon the hill there. It was gorgeous. Stopped in at the pub, same pub I stopped in at on the bib, same people, good to say hi. And then I just walked along the track and set up my tent just off in the track. I had probably one of the best sleeps so far. I can't explain it. And then this morning, uh, I was a bit of an early bird. And uh, the visitor centre wasn't open, so I went to the cafe and started having a chin wag with a couple of people who were on holiday from up my way as well. And it's just nice to sometimes, you know, just to stop in, spend a bit of money somewhere, and then you can have a conversation with people. Otherwise, you don't stop, you just keep going because you just want to continue on with the track and see more, see what's further down the track. And as I hear, there are a couple of hills to go through. We're going through through some more giant giant tree sections today. It's going to be rough. We've got 53 k's to do. I think yesterday was 70 odd. So it might be easier. It's probably going to take a little while. Sunscreened up, I'm ready. Because the sun's out. I think we're expecting a couple of showers later on in the week. So we might have a another cool change there. But the sun is bringing everything to life. The birds are loving it. I'm hoping with the slower pace today, we might catch some snakes. Or something else, who knows? See that out there? That's what we're going on. And I'm standing in an ant nest. Panic. You know when you go to change to a lower gear and you find you done run out of gears? A lot of that. A lot of that. So you've got to start going through your biology gears. Start smashing through that breakfast you ate. Yep, back in the forest. Straight away. Love it good amount of shade. That's what I'm liking. Fantastic colour. Oh yeah, that's because I'm wearing my sunnies. Better colour. As you can see, it's pretty steep country. It's beautiful. But memorably steep. The weather is pretty perfect. You get a good breeze on the downhills. It is so steep that much of the land through here is untouched. Okay, if I want to get up this hill properly. I've got to put both hands on the bars. Hello, beastie.
just physical. That's just physical. The birds are egging me on. Come on. Really the top man. I need a drink. I need a drink. The diversion says there's been a big, uh, one of the big tingle trees has dropped over the track. Those things do take a big team to clear, to cut through it, so uh, that hasn't been done. I'm not sure when this diversion has been put in place, but it says the treetop walk can still be accessed from the west. Uh, I'll try and pop in there if I can because I need to fill up my water. Uh, but it would seem that the biggest hill is behind us. Turns out there are no taps here at all. There's dunnies, but nah, not doing it. Not that desperate. Uh, it's mostly downhill to the hut now anyway. Uh, the worst of the day is over, just a couple of hours. Uh, the sun's going down, so she'll be right. There are other places I know where to get water if I need it desperately, so... All good. If you'd like to see uh, the intense off-road coverage of the treetop walk, here's a thumbnail. Just thought I'd let you know. I forgot to put bum cream on this morning. It's raw. It's on fire. Don't forget your lube, guys. It really is a nice time of day to be riding. Especially in this area where the, the trees aren't so tall and the sun would be right up there having a go at you. There's always one fly. You can feel it connecting with you and you with it. It's not something I can... Um, You develop a connection that you feel, it's, a, it's an emotion that you feel connected to it. You feel like a part of it. If I have to explain what it is, then, well, it's, it's pretty much impossible. You'd just, uh, you'd have to come out here and find this kind of silence. And that breeze is, that is, uh, that's a blessing, that is. Yep, we're going up the hill.
but how fantastic is it? You know, for your body to now be in a position where at the start of the track it's hating it, and now it's just loving to breathe, and it's breathing in a place where you are getting some of the freshest air on the planet. I feel like every deep breath I take in is just giving me so much energy. I mean, listen. So I can't explain why I've why I'm still able to just push on up this hill. Uh, I mean, you've endured the hills with me today. You've seen what it's like. We're going up a sandy one, but you're in a completely different environment. And you can't help but appreciate it and forget about the fact that your body's doing the work. I still don't think I'll forget this. Okay. Just doing some quick maths here. I've got one day less than I thought I did. Um there's two reasons why I need to just sort of get this done. One is because I accidentally only got one night of one night of food instead of two nights of food, and um, well, I've got to be in Albany by the weekend, uh, otherwise. I will miss my lift. Um, so I say it's probably just going to be an early one tomorrow. We'll get going early. See how far we get. If we make it to Denmark, it'll be late. Um, but there's a really nice spot between Denmark and Albany. Um, so we'll just see how we go. Uh, we'll just see where we end up. I mean that's what this trip is about is just seeing what what it throws at you. Uh, 
I'm also down to my sort of I've maybe got one more day of wet wipes. And that's your that's your shower. And then you've got to start choosing which area you want to be clean. Uh, you're not going to smell like peaches out here. Uh, and that's part of the experience. you got to... And then you can feel where the bacteria is getting out of control. I start getting itchy under my arms and in other places. So you got to, just anywhere that doesn't get a lot of air, you've got to sort of open that up and clean it um, with your wet wipes. Uh, yeah, so, well, good night all. See you in the morning.